All right, guys, so what we have here is the, of course, MacBook Pro Space Gray. Um, so here's the SD card, 128 gig Samsung. Here's the adapter I'm using. And uh, we'll just plug this USB-C in. And this should go this way. And let's see what, oh, pretty instant. Everything pops up. This is a bunch of some drone footage. So you got import. So we select, select this one and we'll hit import all. No, not import all. We'll just do the one that's selected. These should go pretty much no problem. So that is great. Um, if you are wondering if this works, this obviously does with no problem. I tried the USBs already. We already know those where you can power your iPhone up with uh, the USBs. Also, the HDMI, I tried that. That works, but normally, I, I mean, I wouldn't really use that because I, I know I, know, ugh, I use the uh, Apple TV if I want to mirror something. But I guess a, a direct connection is always better. This one is USB-C, of course. Um, and the Ethernet. So we're going to switch places well i'm going to switch places and try this ethernet and see if it'll actually work with no i'll turn the lte off turn the wi-fi off and see if we can get some power maybe it'll be faster maybe it won't be as fast i don't know it might not even work at all but let's give it a shot all right guys so what i'm gonna do here is i got ethernet cord coming from the modem and um i'm gonna plug this up in here. Let's pull the USB C port in first. Hold on a second. Alright, let's plug them. And let's take this SD card out. And we're gonna plug this in here. Now it looks like we got some lights, which is always good. All right, so let's go ahead and turn this stuff off. Turn everything off. Okay. So let's go to Safari. This page was already up. Let's go to Apple site. Boom. Power, Ethernet works. That is great. Let's go to um, speed test real quick. See what we're looking at. All right, here we go. Ping is about seven. A good 80 megabits per second. Nice and fast. Well, decent. Upload speed is going to be around 11, I assume. But this is confirmed, in case you were wondering. Now, let me go to um, Wi-Fi so you can see the difference in speed, if there is a difference. So Wi-Fi, is it on? Turned on. Let me unhook this. Okay. So Wi-Fi is on now. So let's go ahead and rerun the speed test with Wi-Fi. And see what we get. Ping is higher. But yeah, so my speeds are a little bit faster. Via Wi-Fi. But not tremendously faster. I mean... Ethernet was getting 80, Wi-Fi's got 119, and it looks like the upload speed is going to be re be around the same. So, that's what it is. Well, y'all, if you ask me, this is definitely the iPad to get if you're thinking about getting one. Um, USB-C works great if you get one of the USB-C hubs. I got it from Amazon. Of course, you can get Apple's, but 
I'm not paying that for apples and it doesn't even have all the ports on it. So this is um, a basic alternate to use. I think this one was um, about 50 bucks, a little bit over 50 bucks, but you get all of the ports. The um, SD card slot works perfect. The USBs work perfect. The USB-C that's on there obviously works and um, the Ethernet we saw works. Wasn't as fast as the Wi-Fi, at least in, in where I was, but it does work. So if you have no power, no internet, you know, no Wi-Fi nowhere, but you have, you know, you can hardwire it in, hey, it works. I mean, I don't even know if I have uh, tried that with any other uh, iPads or any of you all have tried that with any other thing, but it obviously works with no problem. So that's a plus for me, man. So this, um, this app right here wasn't a, a huge, it's not like, you know, all these videos about laptop replacements and all of that. I didn't get that for that, but a USB-C is definitely a huge step in the right direction. I mean, you wonder why it took this long, but it's obviously worked out great. And the fact that you get the new form factor and everything like that, I mean, you really just can't beat it. Um, you don't need a one terabyte model. Uh, I don't think you do because of this, because of these options. I mean, if you're just gonna be loading up media, videos, files, uh, movies, pictures, why get the one? I mean, of course, the one terabyte model is already built in, but you can just get one of these for 50 bucks. You can get get the base model, 64 gig for 9.99, get a, uh, this, like a USB hub like this for 50 bucks, so you, 1,050 bucks versus, What's the terabyte, one terabyte model? Like 1800, close to 2000, you can just get a very powerful iMac for that. You know, if you, I mean, I wouldn't pay 2000 on this. I know some people do, but to me, hey, 1050 versus 2000, I mean, it's pretty a no brainer to me. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to be spending the money anyway, this one happens to be a 256 gig. I really didn't get it for, I really could have got the 64 gig, but I got that for resale purposes. You know, later on down the line when I want to get something else, I sell this. Obviously the 256 is going to be worth more than the 64 gig. So that's another thing, but I switch devices very often. So for people that's going to get this and have this for a while, you don't, you know, just get the 64, man, get you a USB. I'm going to leave, leave the description, a link to the description for the one I have if you want to get that one. I'm not affiliated with them, but why not leave the link for somebody else? So until the next video, guys, if you know of anything else that you want to try on this that uh, I didn't try yet or if I haven't thought about it yet, um, let me know. Um, we can try some things or just kind of troubleshoot. I had somebody ask me, would this be compatible with a using it as a PS4 monitor, a monitor for, for a PS4? I don't think that's gonna work, but I would, I will, try some things, maybe I can hack something up. And maybe they'll do it eventually. Um, but right now, I, we'll try. I don't think it will, man, but it's not even a 4K display, but um, it'll definitely look good if, if I can get it to work. Anyway, until next time.